Hi everyone, I am Miss Brenda and today we're going to be painting a goldfish. We need to go over everything that you need before we get started. You have your canvas, you should have a paintbrush, four colors of paint, a blue, an orange, a yellow, and a white. You'll also need a bowl or cup of water, a pencil, and a paper towel. Now, if you've got all of those things ready, we can start drawing our fish. The first thing we want to do is we want to look at the fish that I've already done. The base of the fish looks like a football. It's the arch up here and then the arch down here, the gold part. This is what we're going to start with. So on your canvas, on the right hand side of your board, use your pencil and we're going to start at the nose of the fish and we're going to draw that arch. Leave room at the top for your top fin. Now we're going to do the bottom arch. Starting at the tail, we're coming down, leaving room for the bottom fin and come right back up to the nose. That's the base of our fish. Now we're going to be doing the top fin and it's just two lines. We're going to curve the first line up and then come right back down. The bottom fin is a curved line out and then curve it right back just like that. Now for the tail, we have a curved line that goes all the way up to the top and one that curves and comes down to the bottom. We're going to do those lines first. So you can curve it in and then out all the way up. Curve it in and then out and all the way down. Now we're going to connect these two lines. And again, I just use one big swirly line. Start at the top, can go out a little bit, come back in, and then touch the bottom. This is your basic fish. Now what we're going to do is draw the white part of the eye. We don't want to paint that orange, so we're going to go ahead and draw a circle for the white part of the eye right there. The next thing that we're going to do, if you've got your fish all drawn, is we're going to paint using our orange paint just the base of your fish, leaving the eye and the fins and the tail. So if you want to get started with your orange paint, go ahead and paint this part. Let your painting dry. Um, you can go ahead and pause the video now and I'll see you back in a few moments. Hi everyone, so if you've got your goldfish already painted with one coat and you want to do a second coat, you can go ahead and do that now and pause your video and then come back when you're done and it's dry. Now if you're ready to paint your fin and your tails, we need our yellow paint. So make sure that your paintbrush has all of your paint from your orange out of it and dry it on your paper towel. Now we're going to use our yellow paint and paint the two fins and the tail. And you're probably going to need two coats of this. So paint the first coat, let it dry, and then paint your second coat. So everyone get started painting your tail and your fins, and I'll see you back in a moment. Okay, so now that you've got your goldfish painted, we have our orange in the middle, we have the two yellow fins, and then we have the yellow tail. What we need to paint now is the water. So I want to make sure that you clean your brush really good, get all that yellow out of your brush. Use your blue and just be very careful, take your time, 
and paint all the blue around your fish. Everything that you see white here is going to be blue. So once you get that painted and it's dried, I'll see you back in a few moments. And we are back. So everyone should have their water all painted blue and it should be dry. What we're gonna be painting now is the white in the eye of the fish, the white line, the scales, and then we're gonna put white highlights in the fins and the tail and we'll do the bubbles. So we need your white paint. So using your paintbrush, Clean your brush really, really well in your water, making sure there's no blue paint in it. Wipe it off on your paper towel. For your white, start with your eye. We want to fill that in with your white paint. Take your time, making it nice and round. Now we're gonna paint the white line. Load your brush, just a little bit of paint. You may want to brush off one side of your paint. So when you load it on both sides, barely brush it one side with your paper towel. That will give you a nice sharp line for drawing. You wanna hold your paintbrush straight up and down and go from the top to the bottom, just like that. Okay, once you've got your line, we're going to do the scales. And if you look at the scales, they look a little like this letter C. And we're going to be doing 15, 20 of them, just gonna scatter them. But again, when you load your brush, you want to wipe one edge with your paper towel to get yourself a nice sharp line. And then using straight up and down, make the letter C, just like that. And go ahead and do that on the whole base, back part of your goldfish on the orange part. Just load more paint the same way each time. Take your time. Is everyone making your C's okay? Just hold that brush straight up and down and turn. And you notice I'm kind of spacing them, not doing them in a row. So as I did these three, the next three, I come in between and go down just a little bit and go in between those. Just a few more. Okay. Now what we're gonna paint is the whites and the fins. And those again are just single lines. It's just to give a little highlight to the fins and the tail. So again, load your brush the same way. Just wiping off a little bit of the excess to give yourself a sharp point. Hold your brush straight up and down and give yourself one line. You can curve it a little bit, just like that. And I'm gonna do a second line. Load my brush again. Just take your time, wipe off the excess, and now we're gonna do the bottom fin. Straight up and down, a single line, 
curve it just a little bit. And now I'll do a second one. Very good. Now we're gonna do that tail. Load your brush the same way. Wipe off that excess. And we're going to do the, the long lines all the way to the bottom first. Go start at the base of the tail. Go straight down. Make a little curvy line. Make sure your brush is straight up and down. Load it again. And I'll do a second line. And a third line. Just make them a little swirly. Now I'm going in the other direction. I'm going up. Curling it around a little bit. And now I'll add a second one. Now we have the fish's tail done. Now what we're going to do now is the bubbles coming out of the fish's mouth. And what we're going to do there, you want to wipe off your paintbrush. And this time, we're going to use the tip of your brush to make those bubbles. So turn your brush upside down, dip it in your white paint, and you want to get right much on it. See, I'm swirling, really swirling that around. Now I'm going to make the biggest bubble closest to the mouth. And when I touch it, I'm just going to swirl it around. Just like that. Get some more paint. We're going to add another one. And you can go on up and just add several bubbles. Getting you a little more paint each time. And once you get the bubbles done, we're going to go back and we're going to do the blue in the eye. So if you've got your bubbles like you want, clean the end of your brush really well with your paper towel. Get that white paint off. Make sure you have no paint on your bristles. And we're going to use our blue paint this time. So go into your blue paint. Well, let's make that dot with the tip. That would be better, right? So we're going to make just a circle, just like we did our bubbles. So with that tip, let's go into our blue paint with our tip. Get some blue paint on there. And now we're going to make that dot in that eye. And just swirl that around. Much better. Makes a nice round circle. Now that you've got that, we are going to make the mouth and we will use the brush bristles for that. So go in with your blue paint on your bristles. But what I want you to do, just like we did the white paint, load it on both sides, but with your paper towel, wipe a little bit off on that one edge. It will give you a nice sharp edge. And right here at the base of the nose, you press down and give a little smile to your fish looks like his mouth is opened. And now your fish is done. Hope you enjoy painting your goldfish and happy painting.